Agents, here's our recommended Jammer Pulse build for tackling the final boss, DDP-52 Razorback, in the Dark Hours Raid. This setup focuses on eliminating the swarm of drones that spawn from Razorback. When using the Jammer, make sure you're one of the players doing the circles, as you need to be close to Razorback for it to be effective. Always strive to stay as close as possible while jamming to ensure you can destroy all drones. This is especially crucial for players who haven't leveled up their expertise. Let's take a closer look at the gear we've chosen. We opted for two pieces from Hana Yu Corporation, specifically the mask and holster, to unlock the second set bonus, granting a 10% increase in skill damage. The mask features a core attribute of one skill tier, and we've added secondary attributes of 10% hazard protection and 10% skill damage. Additionally, we've equipped a gear mod that provides 10% disrupt resistance. Our objective was to increase our resistance to the disrupt status effect, commonly encountered during the Razorback encounter, as it disables our ability to use the jammer. We opted for the hardwired vest due to its positive reinforcement talent, increasing skill damage by an extra 15%. Our intention was to steer clear of high-end gear featuring the glass cannon talent, commonly used by others. Glass cannon leaves you unnecessarily vulnerable in raids, since Hardwired always includes a skill tier, we supplemented it with 10% skill damage and 10% disrupt resistance gear mod. For the holster, we incorporated the second piece of Hanayu Corporation. We enhanced it with 10% hazard protection and 10% skill damage for its attributes. We selected the second piece of the Hardwired gear set for the backpack, and we also equipped it with a 10% skill damage and a 10% disrupt resistance gear mod. This backpack is pivotal for our build because of the short circuit talent, which reduces the feedback loop cooldown to just 10 seconds. This means we can deploy our jammer every 10 seconds without needing any skill haste in our setup. Let me demonstrate how this functions with an example. Now, our jammer is the second skill with a cooldown of 22.2 seconds, which isn't quick enough to neutralize all drones in a timely manner. To fully utilize the feedback loop from the hardwired gear set, our first skill is the ballistic shield, but it has a 14.8 second cooldown. So, how do we reduce the cooldown of the ballistic shield to under 10 seconds to take advantage of the feedback loop? The trick is to equip the shield and avoid letting enemies destroy it. If you equip the shield and then put it away, it always has a 1 second cooldown. This allows us to trigger the feedback loop without needing the skill haste attributes, and avoids the need to use glass cannon to compensate for skill haste. Now that you understand why we don't need skill haste in this build and how to take advantage of the feedback loop, let's continue with the rest of the gear. Since this build fully utilizes the hardwired gear set, we need to focus on gloves and a holster. For the gloves, our priority is the skill tier, and we've included a 10% skill damage attribute. Additionally, on the knee pads, we've added 170,000 armor along with another 10% skill damage attribute. We're able to allocate armor on the knee pads because we're leveraging a named pistol, the TDI Card Custom, which grants us an additional skill tier. Since other weapons aren't relevant to this build, we recommend focusing on jamming rather than shooting. For this build, what you need is a 10% radius mod for the jammer pulse, and additionally, you should add expertise levels to increase the radius even further. This will make it easier to effectively neutralize drones.